Local snowmobile riders, they rely on heavy snow to be on the ground this time of year for good riding conditions, but that is just not the case this season. Hasn't been for a few mm. seasons. Not only can riders not get out and hit the trails, but the people who own those trails also aren't seeing any money either. Caleb Yager, our newest reporter, has details on the effects of this warm winter on snowmobilers. By this point in the winter season, the local snowmobile trails should already be groomed and prepared for riders. But this year, the unusual warm weather says otherwise. Last year at this time, we had, had we had three good weeks of season, and we had 132 hours on our groomer. And this year, we have zero hours on the groomer. The Presque Isle Snowmobile Club cannot rely on riders at this point to be using the trails, which means local snowmobile riders have to hitch up and go elsewhere. A lot of people call us looking to see if they can come to Erie to snowmobile, and without the snow, we're having to send them other places like Tug Hill, New York. Unfortunately for guys like Daryl, he has to rely on something that he cannot change. We're just waiting on the weather. The impact of snowmobiling goes beyond just the trails and revenue with machine sales themselves. We haven't seen the snow for the local economy, and that, that's too bad because a lot of, we count on a lot of people riding around here, supporting the fuel stations, local restaurants, and, uh, with, you know, so, but we're only halfway through, so we're still optimistic that the second half of the snow season, we're going to see snow. So, what next? Start doing a snow dance, <laughs> and hopefully we can get some snow here. Caleb Yager, Erie News Now. Yeah, the snowmobilers are just hoping for more snow, colder temperatures in the forecast very soon. So that is a good lead in. It certainly is. <laughs>